Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series, and it's 4C, 4 slash 5C, Control versus Dark Jeskai. Goblin Dark Dwellers brings back Transgress the Mind for 4C, and Dark Jeskai Murderous Cuts the Dark Dwellers. And transgress the mind bricks. But it also shows that uh, Dark Jeskai is pretty well screwed for cards right now. Manning up the Shambling Vent is pretty much the only option he has. He attacks in for two. And it's not a bad option, especially when your opponent has no mana. Ooh, Dragon Master Outcast. Yeah, he has enough land. So if he doesn't want Dark Jeskai to have dragons, he has to kill Dragon Master Outcast this turn, which he does with an ultimate price. Follows it up with Read the Bones. Dark Jeskai really needs to top deck something good. Uh, Mantis Rider would be pretty good right here. It would uh, apply some pressure. Uh, Tassiger would be pretty good as well. And. Painful Truths. Well, that'll. Hopefully, that'll get him some gas. Draws three and loses three. He still has four mana. And passes the turn. All right. So, four C. Oh. Looks like he's passing the turn as well. That's unfortunate. That was a prime opportunity for him to be able to play something. End of turn, Dark Jeskai is paying four. Dig through time, delving away most of his graveyard. I have to say, things are looking up for the Dark Jeskai deck. Five cards in hand, lots of mana to use. Duress. This should help a little. At the very least, it'll let him know what's in his hand. Makes him discard a Crackling Doom, leaves him with a Roast and a Languish. A second Duress. Makes him discard the Roast. And manning up the Shambling Vent for another attack. And, you know, turns ago, two damage didn't seem like a whole lot, but then again, you know, when you keep doing two damage, and they do damage to themselves, man's up his own shambling vent, so the two vents will bounce off of each other, except Dark Jeskai throws down a fiery impulse to kill it. So, he didn't even get to declare blockers. Two damage from the Shambling Vent puts 4C on 8 life. Transgress the Mind. The other card in his hand, as we know, is a Languish. Gets rid of Crackling Doom. So they are both basically top decking now. Shambling Vent again. And this is actually getting really tight for the uh, 4C deck. Jace! And he can flip on the next turn. And he throws down Languish to kill it off. So now they are both truly top decking. Oh, and he drew a land. But a powerful man land. Next turn... Okay, Shambling Vent attacks in for two, takes him down to four. Next turn, 
Wandering Fumarole represents lethal, since he can flip its power and toughness to 4-1. No plays from 4C. And manning up the Fumarole. And manning up the Shambling Vent. Okay, flips its power and toughness. Uh, 4C does have enough mana to man up his own Shambling Vent. Which he's pretty much going to have to do here. And I would block the Fumarole. The other vent will deal two damage, you'll do two damage, you'll gain two life, so the damage will be null. Oh! Not what I was expecting. If you had blocked the Fumarole, depending on whether he wanted to keep that land, he would have had to flip the power and toughness back. And your vent would have lived regardless. What did he just play? Colagon's Command. Dealing two damage to kill off the the vent and grab Siege Rhino back. I really hate when it does that and goes so fast that you can't see what's going on. So Duress gets rid of a Roast, which is good news because uh, Roast is a very efficient way of killing off the Siege Rhino that he's about to play. Dig through time. Okay, what does Dark Jeskai have? Because he still is in a position of power over 4C. He has a massive life total, which he can abuse with things like Painful Truths, and take damage from Siege Rhino and not care, all the while gaining a card advantage, which should translate into momentum for him give him options, ways to kill Siege Rhinos, or deal direct damage considering he's on 5. So there's a Roast. Very good draw. Gets rid of the Siege Rhino, so now he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, and 4C doesn't man up his Shambling Vent and attack. But then again, he couldn't risk... Uh, Fumarole dealing four damage, and then him having a way of dealing another damage. Kalidus. So Dark Jeskai is cooking with gas here, and being on five life, four C really needs a good top deck here. Uh, another Siege Rhino would be great, because not only is it a four five, but it would bring him back up to eight life. No plays. Back to Dark Jeskai. So, me, I would man up the Fumarole and attack in all out. Unless you have something better in your hand. Okay, he's going for the Fumarole. And attacking all out. So there's the inevitable inevitable shambling vent trigger. And he's pretty much he has to block the fumarole. Oh, Dark Jeskai has a response. Maybe Oh, Crackling Doom. I was gonna say maybe murderous cut, but Crackling Doom is even better because uh that pretty much puts him dead regardless of what happens here but 4c has a response as well murderous cut to kill Kalidus. that won't save you
Unless he has something like a fiery impulse in his hand. Because he has to flip his fire and toughness to kill here. Anything? And there's the impulse. But, that's the thing about the fumarole. You can respond at any time and flip power and toughness again. So, down to 2 for 4C. He has one shot, pretty much. And he concedes. Wow, that was a long fight. And that was a, you know, that was a fight. All the way down to the end. And that was a long video, so I'm going to end it here. That was 4 slash 5C Control versus Dark Jeskai. And if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button.